Hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. Today we're going to have a look at crew positions on the Hobie Tiger. This will be appropriate for any other boat that is similar, such as an F-18, Tornado, Hurricane 5.9 and so on. So in really light conditions, we'll be forward of the front beam. If uh, you find steering difficult from this position because of the angle, then we can take the tiller extension further outboard and that will enable us to steer more effectively. So as the crew, when the wind is really light, we're going to be directly opposite the helm, forwards of the front beam, possibly playing the spinnaker directly from the sheet here, uh, especially if the wind's very light and then we can really feel the pressure in the sail. As the wind increases, we'll come a little bit further back just to keep the hull absolutely level. So as the helm's moved back, we've moved back as well. So that again, we're directly opposite on the boat. Again, for the steering, we're going to have the, the tiller extension outboard to enable you to steer more effectively. We're quite in close to the mast here to promote the hull lifting. If the hull is lifting quite freely, perhaps you're not as heavy, then you could come a little bit more outboard and that will help you to steer more effectively. Always on the downwind, make sure that you can steer effectively because that is your power control. If um, playing the sheet straight from the spinnaker is too heavy, taking it through the blocks as well, but still holding the sheet from the spinnaker, that will give us a very good indication of the pressure that we have. As the wind increases, we've gone to the next position. Uh, this is sitting on the trampoline with your back up against the dagger board. Uh, I like to call this position the speed seat. You can steer very effectively from this position. You've got a very good control on the boat. This will probably be when you've been single trapezing upwind. So when the helm's in the speed seat, again, we're gonna be directly opposite on the boat, uh, up against the dagger board on the leeward side. Uh, be playing the sheet directly from the blocks now, maybe two hands. If it's more comfortable, could be on your knees or sitting, whatever's most comfortable for you. So as the wind's a bit stronger and the crew's moved across to windward, we're gonna to have to move back slightly, trimming our weight to keep the, the leeward hull, the hull that's in the water, flat. Uh, always a hand on the main sheet and maybe moving inboard slightly. If you're racing, moving inboard like this is a very good idea because you can see under the sail, you can see everything that's going on. As the rip wind has increased, if you want to go for more speed, the crew can come across to the windward side and you're just going to play the spinnaker from this position. This is a great position because we can very clearly see the front of the spinnaker and we'll just sail the boat from this position. So as the wind's increased further, we've moved out onto the trapeze and our forwards and backwards movements here are just to keep the leeward hull, the hull that's in the water, pretty flat. As it gets windier, we're going to come further back just to lift the bow a little bit uh, to give us a little bit of margin for any big gusts that are going to come through. So as the wind gets stronger, we're going to move back. As we move back, we might have to lengthen the trapeze because the distance here is going to get shorter and then when we get to the time that we've really been fully trape trapezing upwind, gonna be right to the back in the toe strap, hiking out. And here we can get a very good picture of what the spinnock is doing. So this would be in probably Beaufort 4, full speed. So now that the crew is really hiking off the back, we're gonna come right to the back of the boat. 
and we're steering with our arm on the tiller connecting bar. This is going to stop us from steering too much by using our whole arm for steering rather than just a hand. Again holding on to the main sheet, keeping that cranked in tight at all times. Wicked. So thanks for watching. I hope this has been informative and useful for you. Thanks again to all of my patrons who helped me to make these videos. If you want to become a patron, please click on the link in the description below. Subscribe to the channel for more catamaran sailing tutorials and action from Vasiliki here in Greece. Thank you very much.